what is going on youtube family it is your girl ray back to you guys with another video so as you guys can tell by the title we're gonna be talking about weight loss motivation how to stay motivated what motivates you and why you need to be motivated in order to make sure that you're getting to your goal so if you like this topic and want to hear more of these types of topics make sure that you like this channel subscribe to this channel that's the most important thing make sure you subscribe that's the biggest thing subscribe share it if you want to something that you can probably give to someone else maybe they'll enjoy it maybe they'll find something out of it and also make sure you press that bell notification so that you'll be notified every single time i upload a video as we're going to be talking today guys i'm going to be probably looking down a little bit because i wrote some notes down so if i'm looking down just understand i am still keeping up with y'all but i'm just looking down to make sure i hit all the points that i want to hit now me being in the fitness industry me being a person that have heard that i inspire and motivate other people um i always get this question how do you stay so motivated question i get all the time from my subscribers all the time from my um, followers on instagram all the freaking time and it's something that i it's like drilled like how do you say so motivated what, what makes you motivated what motivates you what motivates you and that made me feel like clearly that is where a lot of people lack when it comes to losing weight first question is why do you want to lose weight what is the reason why you want to lose weight is it your kids is it your job is it your husband is it your wife is it your work is it just because you're just sick and tired of being in this body what motivates you when you look at something and say, yeah, you know what? I'm going to start my diet on Monday. What are those things that you see that makes you feel that, that, that feeling in that moment of, okay, yeah. All right. For sure. I'm starting this workout on Monday, or I'm starting this diet on Monday, or I'm doing this exercise this day. What stimulates that? Is it something in your heart that makes you feel that you need to get something going? What is it? Backtrack for me for a little bit. What makes you feel in that moment that you need to do this thing? What makes you feel that? Is it because you don't like what you see in the mirror? Is it because you don't like to hear what people have to say? Is it because people have told you several times that this is an issue and that you need to fix it? Or have you told yourself several times that this is an issue you want to fix it? Not saying that you love yourself less. That's not where I'm getting at. I also want you guys to understand that just because you don't like yourself right now physically does not mean you love yourself less. You actually love yourself more because you want to change. I'm going to say that again. Just because you don't like yourself right now physically and possibly even emotionally, possibly even mentally does not mean you don't love yourself. You love yourself because you want to change. You love yourself because you have thoughts of how to change, why you want to change, what's going to make you change, when you want to change. Those thoughts tell you right there that you love yourself because if you didn't have those moments, if you didn't have those days where you felt like I want to change, if you've never had those ever in life, that means that you completely gave up on yourself. That means that you don't love yourself and that means that you don't care about yourself. You love yourself. Remember that you do love yourself. There's nothing wrong with you outside of what you do want to change. And it's okay to change. It's okay to seek change. It's okay to seek help for certain things. It's okay to question things because it's not something of your norm. It's not something that you're used to. It's something that's foreign to you. It's something that's easy for other people. And you wish that you could be that person. Or you wish that you can be that person to motivate and encourage and inspire other people. You wish you can be that person and you can be that person. You just have to find out what motivates you. You have to find out what's going to get you up in the day to make you want to go exercise. You got to find out what's going to make you want to stay on your diet. You got to find out what's going to make you want to be that better person. It's all on you. No one else is going to be able to change it but yourself. And you have to realize that and you have to understand that you have to accept that. Typically, when we look at certain things, when we look to the future, when we look past what we are right now, we see a happier person in a different body. Do we not? We see a happier person being able to run, being able to jump, being able to play, being able to look good in a certain outfit. And typically that person's a lot smaller <clears throat> than what we are today. Am I right or am I right? When you look to that person, 
that you see in the future, what in between motivated you or motivated that person that you see in the future to get to that point? You already know in your heart, I need to diet better, I need to eat better, and I need to stay consistent with how I'm eating when it comes to eating healthier. You already know that. But you also know that you wanna start working out. You also know that working out and dieting or working out and eating healthy goes hand in hand. We all know that. When we ask that question of what motivates you or anything like that, we all have to just think back to backtrack. Don't just think about that question as it is. Backtrack. What motivates you? When you think about that scenario from who you are today, when you're daydreaming, thinking of how good you, how fine and snatch you about to look into that dress, how you're going to look in that tuxedo, how you're going to look in that shirt. When you go shopping, when you buy certain things, when you look at the size and think, I can fit that. And then you go to the dressing room and figure out, nah, bruh, they can't, you can't fit it. You thought you could because you didn't realize how big you had gotten. You didn't realize that the size that you used to be is no longer the size you are today. Or you trying to squeeze your body into a, a size 16, 18, when sis, you are ready to a 20, 22. And it's not making fun, but it's just being real. Cause you guys know I'm gonna be a, a million and 10. I don't sugarcoat anything. What motivated you in that moment? What was that aha like? Dang, I tried these on, I thought I could fit these pants, but I can't. Now I gotta go look for some more bigger pants. I don't wanna be these bigger size pants. Don't you feel that way too? When you go shopping, do you not feel the same way of, I don't wanna go big, get no bigger pants. Why am I still not this 16? What happened? Why am I still not this 16? Why am I at a 20, 22 now? What happened to me? Oh, uh, nah, nah, man, I need, I need to go to diet. I can't do this anymore. Then you start panicking. Then you start stressing out. Then you start realizing that I've been messing up really, really bad. What is causing me to get this big? What am I stressing over? What are my anxieties? What are my stressors? What the heck happened to me in that time from size 16 to size 22? When you figure out that, dang, I messed up. I've been tripping. I've been eating too much. I haven't been exercising. I keep thinking I want to go on this diet. I keep thinking I'm about to eat healthy. I said, Monday, I'm going to go on this diet. I stayed cool for Monday, possibly half of Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday. And then I screwed up this day. Oh God, I'm failing. I can't do it. Dieting is just not for me. I don't know how to diet. I don't know how to, I don't know how to eat better. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. But I know I have to do it. Because I want to be this in the next couple months. For my birthday, my birthday about to be popping, baby. I want to look like this for my birthday. Those things is what's motivating you. But all of those things are superficial things. Things that possibly mean a lot to you but may not mean a lot in the long run is it gonna be that dress and maybe it is that dress maybe it is that tuxedo maybe it is that outfit but what is that trigger when you feel like you've messed up when you feel like you've gone too far in gaining weight what is that could it be you know that you can be better could it be that you know that you're better than this could it be that you understand where you faulted where you've gone wrong and you know you can fix it, but you just don't know how. You just don't understand how to fix it. So you reach out to people on Instagram, like myself, you reach out to people in the world that you feel is gonna give you the answer for something that only you know why. I can talk to you all day long, but only you know why this is what's happening to you. Only you know why, only you know how to fix it. If you find that people are motivating you, that's great. But don't just say someone motivates you and then don't do the work behind it. You have to do the work behind it if you really, really, really want to be on the same track as you know you should. If you know you really want to be on a good standing with your own self, you're going to have to put in that work. You may find people on Instagram that motivates you, inspires you, but understand that they're dealing with the same things that you're dealing with. How are they going to stay motivated? Other people, no one has the same exact story you do. We may share similar things. We may share similar points. But we all don't have the same story. We all don't get motivated by the same things. So you have to find a way to motivate yourself. You have to find out what motivates you. You have to find out what makes you get up in the morning. If you can wake up every single morning to go to work, what motivates you there? Money. That's what motivates you. 
when you get that money, what else motivates you? I can take care of my family. That's what motivates you. When you can take care of your family, how does it make you feel? Gratification. I feel like my family cares. I feel like I'm taking care of something. I feel like I'm a hero. I feel like I've been able to do these things for my kids, my, my husband, my wife, whatever. You have to find out what motivates you and you have to find out what is going to be your motivation for weight loss. Is it going to be you or is it going to be other people? Only you know the true answer. You may not know how to fix it right now, but you know how to fix it later on. You have to push yourself. You have to understand that you are way more worth it. You are way more worth it being in this position that you are today. You didn't want to be here. You didn't want to be in this body. You weren't meant to be in this body. People told you all your years that when you get older, you're going to gain weight. That's not necessarily true. I got older and I lost weight. So that's how I know that's not necessarily true. That is a myth that people tell you all the time because people typically give up around that, that certain age because people feel like this is the childbearing years, is the years you're going to get married, these are all these years that it's going to pass by you and you're not going to be worried about losing weight at that time. That's not necessarily true. Just because you have kids, just because you have a husband, just because you have a wife, just because you have a job does not mean you can't lose weight. This does not mean you are not worth losing the weight that you want to lose so i want you to challenge yourself i want you to find out what motivates you find out why it motivates you find out if it is your children find out if it is you know something that you see in the future find out what it is hold on to that whatever motivates you and let that be the reason why you're continuing, continuing on your weight loss. Just because your weight loss is slow doesn't mean you're not making progress. And that, that's something that, you, that people have to understand. Just because your weight loss is slow does not mean you're not making progress. Because you're learning about yourself throughout the entire process. You're learning about what you like, what you don't like, how you like certain things, what you should be eating what you're not supposed to be eating and what's going to get you to that goal. It may take 10 years, but that's okay. If you're willing to wait years and years and years for a job to be available, for you to get a promotion, for you to go to school, if you're willing to wait all that time to go to school, willing to wait all that time to sit in front of someone, someone teach you something, then you can wait for your weight loss to be successful. So I hope that you guys found some motivation in that if that wasn't very motivating let me know in the comments below but i plan on making more videos about this so i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you go ahead and like comment and subscribe press that bell notification guys to make sure you stay motivated and make sure that you stay notified every single time i upload a video so more videos to come this is not the last video i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys all so much peace